All right, the Cold War ends. This uh, decade after decade, um, America and Soviet Union are positioning themselves to try to be the superior um, country that other countries should follow. And uh, so this generation, the boom, baby boomer generation, that is, uh, it's huge. There's a lot of people in this generation. They are, they grow up in this very volatile time. They, uh, they become adults during the 60s when all the craziness that we talked about in the last uh, couple pages were, were going on. And so there was a, a famous thing, never trust anyone over 30. Basically somebody from a different generation, they wanted to do things their own way. They would say things, all we were saying is give peace a chance. These are, are great songs that were coming up. Um, Imagine by John Lennon. And so you just have a lot of these things. They're going through Korea, Vietnam, um, worry about being annihilated by nuclear weapons. And so they would have all these protests. They would tell the government, stop doing all these things. Stop going to war. Stop, uh, stop all this fighting. Figure it out differently because we keep getting closer and closer to nuclear war. And so songs like uh, Bob Dylan's, all this generation, they sing a lot of these songs, a lot of things that are going on in um, during this time. So they, they're they also protesting the Soviet Union. Uh, Czechoslovakia, Poland, they're, they're all vying to try to get out from under the Iron Curtain. And basically in the 1980s, they start to succeed. All these countries are allowed to leave and be their own nations without being Soviet-dominated. And so the empire, the Soviet-controlled empire, starts breaking apart uh, in the 1980s. One of the reasons is because they just couldn't sustain themselves. Empty shelves, long lines, because of the type of economy that, that communism uh, promotes, they were not in, they uh, they were not incentivized to do well and to produce a lot of things. So after a while, they run out of other people's money and there's just nothing left on the shelves and people are going to, you know, when they're starving, they get angry. When they get angry, they start going after the government. So they started the governments of the Eastern Bloc countries like Poland and, and Czechoslovakia started saying, let's, we need reform. We need to change what we're doing. And so the Soviet Union started to allow openness and allowed these countries to go back and forth. Uh, the changing map of Europe, all these socialist countries start uh, breaking away and becoming their own countries. And so we have this speech right here by Ronald Reagan. Let me pull it up. The Soviets themselves may in a limited way be coming to understand the importance of freedom. We hear much from Moscow about a new policy of reform and openness. Some political prisoners have been released. Certain foreign news broadcasts are no longer being jammed. Some economic enterprises have been permitted to operate with greater freedom from state control. Are these the beginnings of profound changes in the Soviet state? Or are they token gestures intended to raise false hopes in the West or to strengthen the Soviet system without changing it? We welcome change and openness for we believe that freedom and security go together, that the advance of human liberty, the advance of human liberty can only strengthen the cause of world peace. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable, that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. One thing I wanted to point out is that his speechwriters told him not to say these next lines, but because he got 
this response from the German people about the Berlin Wall, which is right behind them. There's a gate there that they can let people come and go from East Germany, East Berlin to West Berlin. He said that uh, because of that response, he decided to go ahead with the, the words that they told him not to say, and it is going to become one of the greatest uh, parts of a speech in American history. Mr. Gorbachev. Mr. Gorbachev teared down this wall. And so you have um, Reagan challenging Gorbachev to tear down that wall. And so once the wall, the wall does come down, the West Germans start breaking it down, and it uh, ends this separation between the German people. The German people are able to reunify re in, uh, in their own country. And uh, the Soviet Union, this was the final straw that really brought down the Soviet Union, and they become just simply the Russian Empire instead of Soviet Empire, where all these satellite states were able to go their own way. <laughs> 